Okay, here I am up uh, back of the house uh, getting ready to uh, drag out the third 16-foot log from a tree that fell a couple years ago that I'm sawing up in the wood. But <clears throat> that's not what I'm making this video about. I was up here the other day and I seen something that just made me think about these hills and um, things that have gone on up here over the past 40 60 years and I thought I'd shoot this video uh, let me see if I can change this around while I was up here I was uh, dragging out that first log and I ran across um, something pretty interesting um, first a little backstory my grandfather used to run a electric chainsaw up here and he'd pick up all the dead pine that you see blowed over and he'd cut them up for firewood because he had a steam boiler in his house and he'd burn anything. So he'd be up here with an electric chainsaw, which he said he didn't like uh, power saws because his ears were bad and they hurt his ears. Now, why he didn't wear earplugs, I, I have no clue and the question I never asked him. But he'd come up here and cut these logs up while dad was working seven to three shift. And then he'd put a big long rope on them and my dad would drive up. You can barely see it down there. There's a log and road down there that my great, great grandfather used to use horses and drag trees out of these mountains. He was a Quinlan. He owned this land first. So this land goes back over a hundred years with us. But anyway, my dad would come up with his Ford truck up that road and grab a hold of the rope and pull down his logs. Well, what I found was uh, when I drug out a log, I picked up a piece of rope that was buried. It's still buried underground I don't know how far down there that goes I'm not gonna disturb it I'll leave it there this rope is old hammer mill rope but dad brought a lot of it home and uh, it was under the ground there and I then I noticed it's wrapped around this tree and hooked up over a limb now my grandfather's been going for over 30 years so we're talking 40 years ago this rope was up there now I know that tree's not probably not 40 years old maybe I don't know but so either my dad found the end of the rope and, and strung it up here or if the tree's four years old my grandfather had it here I don't know either way both of them touched this rope, used this rope, and when I found it, it was just something I thought was neat. Got me thinking about uh, all the three generations now of guys that retired, my dad and myself and my grandfather that spent a lot of hours up in these mountains doing different things, firewood and other projects. And, you know, a lot of things I don't know about that I wish I would have asked and I thought you know with the technology today with these videos and YouTube and Facebook I'm going to start shooting some videos like this when I think of different things I want to talk about and then my great grandkids can hopefully be shown these videos and hear their grandfather, their great grandfather, talking about uh, their great great and great great grandfather, and um, they get a sense of what all went on in these mountains that they hopefully enjoy as they get older. And I, you know, I believe I'll probably know. My great grandkids, I have a granddaughter at 17, so the odds of that are pretty good. But I also have one that's two. And, you know, even if I do see her kids, uh, them remembering me would be probably slim to none. So hopefully 
someone can show them these videos and hear some stories that hopefully I get to record in the future here. I have a lot of plans for these mountains over the next few years and hopefully I can put something together that someone will share with with uh, future generations and, and you know some of the questions you wish you would ask maybe I'll be lucky enough to talk about some of those things in these videos and the answers will be there. Alright, enough of that sappiness. Uh, back to work and until next time, see you later.